weather today in the greater Cincinnati area. I love you so badly. I could... They're solid plastic, so don't settle for imitation. But the senator, while insisting he was not intoxicated, could not explain his nudity. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. I told you I'll be back if I found something killer. And tonight, it's about Arcade 1-Up and the Atari 50th Anniversary Collection and what's going on right now. Let's do this. <laughs> I think we stood for innovation, and also we were the genesis story. You always have a hallowed position when you're the first. When it came time to design the reimagined game, I wanted to approach it in the same way Atari did. So everybody's heard the Pong story. Put it out into an arcade and see if it makes money. So many people had played it. That it couldn't accept any more money. The programmers that worked with that machine were magicians. good to take the innovation legacy and push it forward into the future. Ah, oh, the Atari. Atari 50, the anniversary celebration, or as some people call it, Atari 50th anniversary collection. No matter how you say it, have you played Atari today? Have you played Atari today? And if you haven't played your Atari today, well, here you go. <laughs> this is how I've been playing it recently. Uh, I did an unboxing. It's on the channel if you want to check it out. But I got the PS4 version. You know, you could get it for your PS5, Nintendo Switch, Xbox, just like it says right there. But I pre-ordered mine because I wanted to get that free game of Gravatar Recharged. It's something they didn't release uh, when this was coming out, and I wasn't sure if it was going to be an exclusive, so I jumped on board with that just to get that game, and it's okay. I enjoy a lot of these games. But before we get too far into the Atari 50, the anniversary collection, the celebration, or what we want to call it, let's address the uh, elephant in the room, <laughs> shall we? Now, this is on Wayfair's uh, website, and it's an arcade one up Atari 50th anniversary 70 inch deluxe arcade from the abbreviation that's what I'm taking from it. Um, I'm like, what, what the hell is this? This is, reminds me of, you know, of the, in 2018, I got the 12 and one uh, from Fry's Electronics. This reminds me of it. And I was looking at the games here and I said, man, there's 14 games. And so, you know, I was thinking, it's very similar, and I was looking at, it's got some, you know, looking at the pictures, I mean, I'm digging the Pittsburgh Steelers colors, okay, don't get me wrong, but God dog it, it says too much Atari 50, and he kept it a little more plain, I know it's not going to be on the screen, because, you know, 
that's where it, I seriously well they'll probably have something saying Atari 50 pop up on their screen you know you know arcade one up but I, I think they could have gone better with maybe a, a more of a basic black or even a molded you know looking thing like it did with the uh, 12 and 1 uh, back in 2018 like the one I got um, looking at the photos here I mean it's got a trackball God knows how it's gonna work it's got the spinner um, volcano buttons I like that touch and it kind of reminds me of the you know uh, the Atari legacy 12 and 1 that came out not too long ago um, that legacy I think Best Buy hat for 450 or something like that probably find it cheaper or higher Lord knows where you go who knows where you find it these prices jump all over the place uh, but yeah th and that was a nice looking one um, it had like the Tempest looking design to it so they should have done something a little bit like that with this uh, 50th celebration in my opinion but like I said I was, I was looking at these uh, games I mean Super Breakout and um, Space uh, Duel uh, and I think one more let's see here I'm missing something here maybe there's one I thought there's one more but there's a third game here I'm assuming Mr. Command Gravatar oh that A R R A I I I how you pronounce that uh, yeah, that's there too. So there's those are three, but those were the three games are also I believe on the um, the, uh, uh, the the deluxe and uh, look, let's look at this here. This, here's all the games for the 12 and one You know and so well, it's just 12 and one right there, but it, The games, you know are, are listed there in front of the uh, cabinet had asteroids and centipede and all that uh temptus and that's the cabinet i enjoyed and I, I i really liked let's uh check out a video of me going to fries checking it out for the first time and uh my first reaction to it all right here it is arcade one up so decided to check it out a little bit here beautiful artwork though Supposed to come with the riser. Quorms is the spinner, man. It's really tight. Not cool. Ball's responsive, very nice, but the roller ball, but I tell you what, man, it's kind of smaller than what I remember. So I guess for anything, I mean, it's got some good games. And, you know, it's pretty cool, but 400 bucks ain't too bad. So. I don't know. I got to figure out about the spinner thing. And I took it home. Uh, excuse the crudeness of the video. Um, but I put it together. It had some great games. And I fell in love with it. Now when this first came out. Um, as you can see in the video. There was no deck protector. So I was part of that beginning test. Of how the paint started wearing off. But other than that. It was a beautiful cabinet. I put the riser backwards because I didn't want to see the arcade one up sticking out like that. Because I, I saw arcade one up enough when I, you know, have it here looking at the beautiful uh, unit. Uh, it says arcade went right smack dab in the center. Uh, so powering it up was, it, it's just beautiful, man. Um, I, I uh, loved the way it powered up. It energized me. But as soon, as soon as I got to this point where I started appreciating it, playing, playing it some more, because Arcade went up, promised arcade games with arcade, uh, you know, uh, buttons and, and trackballs and stuff and spinners, and that's not what we got. So let's take a look at a clip of, you know, check it out, what we have to do to uh, upgrade the system here with Glenn's uh, trackball and spinner. Oh, let's see here. So we got our wires and screws. Allen wrench, yes, need that. Let's see this here. Whoa, this really has some cool weight to it. All right. 
Nice. And let's pull this out gently. I don't want to screw anything up. Waiting forever for this. Nice. That's what it looks like on the bottom. Wow, this is cool. It's going to really make a difference. All right, so what I need to do here is remove the control panel with this crappy spinner. You know what? Let me show you. So this is what I've been dealing with. Spinning it. Just doing that. And it's not doing anything. So we all know this is junk. So let's go ahead and get this pulled out of here and open up the back end of this and see what we got and how it installs. All right, so let's uh, get rid of the old and put in the new. Stand by. Okay, so I got the spare installed and the hose lined up just fine. Glenn's video, he says that he used his screws and it works just fine, so I'm gonna do what he did. Here is the board, the interface board. So this is the uh, spinner up here, trackball right here. This goes back out to where the spinner, the uh, trackball was originally installed. So we're all set here. And this was the uh, piece of junk. It's just the reason why it started getting smoother a little bit spinning it is because it started coming loose, and uh, that was terrible. And, and of course, this is what we got. It's a switch. It's not even a spinner. See. It's just terrible. I don't know who the design team was for this. That was a good idea, but I'm very thankful for Glenn and his team for uh, going beyond uh, the Call of Duty just to give us a quality control spinner, just like promised. Arcade went up's website said arcade buttons and quality. And that That's a crying shame. That's wrong. All right, so let's uh, put this bad boy together and see how we how it works and my final thoughts stand by okay guys moment of truth i got the control panel put back in put my deck protector on i did use the uh extra spacer to make it a little higher can't hurt i mean it's there also um my rollerball trackball here the the original spinner went to the trackball and trackball went to the board and the trackball screws were glued and screwed really good where I couldn't get them done. And I figured I was going to have to cut the wires anyway I did. So hopefully this works. So let's hope so. I get really nervous right about this time when I work on these things. Yes! Woo. That's a load off my mind. Okay, so basically, I went to the Video Game Museum here in Frisco. I played Temptus there, and I came home to my piece of junk spinner here, and I was so disappointed that I didn't play Temptus in a very long time. Normally, I would pick games through the trackball. Let's see the spinner in action. Ooh, that's killer. <laughs> that's so badass. Glenn, you did great. All right, let's get them just going here. <laughs> I can't believe it. This is just like the arcade. Oh my goodness. I'm so freaking happy. <laughs> Glenn, dude, you did us right, man. Arcade one up promises arcade buttons, arcade trackballs. Arcade joysticks, arcade spinners, and someone dropped the ball. Whoever was in charge of that really screwed the pooch. But man, you, you came through. This is a huge touchdown on your part, brother. You, you and your crew. Let's check out the trackball. There's your dip switches. Ball feels really good. Screws. Cool. Uh, 
Uh, nothing. And that's it. You know, I'm going to put a trick ball in here to hold it down. Oh, yeah. That's really smooth. That does a lot better than, than on the cabinet. You can tell there's ball bearings in this one than what we got in the cabinet, which is definitely not ball bearings. So that way we get to our board. Um, when I install Glenspare with the interface board, the uh, trackball, the screws weren't coming undone because they were glued. Mainly this one up here. So what I'm going to do here is get the screws off and work on getting this one off. So, now it's time to install Glenn's trackball. And I'm thankful he includes screws because I'm not using those. Stand by. Okay, so I got Glenn's trackball installed. Uh, it literally took me about a minute. Now, there, you know, because of the glue and stuff, you can see there was a little damage me trying to get this off. I had to take a small flathead screwdriver and kind of work my way through it. As you can see here, I don't know if you can tell right here, but it, it didn't damage it. It's, it's in there securely. Um, but yeah, you, you could see all that glue residue and some of this little stress there that caused me getting off. But it's in there secure. I decided to keep the interface board in play because I didn't want to feel like opening this up and jacking with it. Even though you can if you didn't have the interface board and just now getting Glenn's spare and trackball, there's a way to install it without the interface board from Glenn. Uh, I'll put that link below from him showing you how to do all that. So uh, I got set for green. Two down, one up. So, sorry. I don't know if you can see there or not. That's a switch. One, two, and three. And it's very easy to do it. Just follow the codes on the instructions. All right. So let's put this back together. And hopefully I didn't mess anything up. Stand by. Okay. We got it installed. All screwed in there. Got the new track ball. Wow. All right. Let's turn this on. And Woo. Yeah, I, got, I went for green to match the green on the side. Oh, goodness. I'm so glad I didn't screw this up. Every time I work on these things, I, I get worried. Excuse the glare, by the way. So, we got the spinner here. The spinner is working just fine. Let me get the trackball. Ha! <laughs> So basically, um, when I was playing Quantum, there it is. I, I, I thought I was sucked at this game. And so I was like, going, okay. And see how it kind of spins a lot quicker now? Well, not spins, but we're trying to show off here. I'm not doing a good job. But you see it's a lot quicker now on the response time because of the uh, trackball. I was trying to get one more for you guys. Excuse me. There you go. So because, it, it, and you hear it, see, able to go further and actually be a lot accurate. If, you, if you're a good game, like I'm not. <laughs> Alright, I'm not going to bore you with that, but you got the idea. Now, the original trackball that came with it, kind of see how it stops a little bit. This one. It's got some speed to it because of the ball bearings, where this one doesn't have any. So, yeah, it was a nice little project. I mean, don't get me wrong. Once I did the improvements, uh, I was just so happy with it. But I told myself, because by the time I got these replacement parts and everything installed, it was already the following year in 2019. I told myself, I'm not going to do this again. I'm going to wait. I don't want to invest this much time and energy and an extra cost into these upgraded uh, parts that it was necessary because, you know, Tempest wasn't playable 
without that upgrade and missile command centipede and um, millipede and you know anything with a trackball it was uh, like night and day so yeah it, it was needed um but then you know as time went on i was like looking at the legacy games you know because that's a beautiful cabinet and comparing games to it um because the 12 and one the atari 12 and one that i had that you just saw I had lunar lander were in the games listings uh lunar lander was taken out and the uh the one the tempest uh legacy one has the game that it's like oh it's a k k a not a r r a i screwed that one up sorry guys but uh still can't pronounce it but yes i ah, but anyway <laughs> sorry but fuck man uh they included that game um instead of Mr. Command, but they also gave you a uh, space duel. Um, and so I was like, going, okay, well, what else is missing here? Um, and, and between the two, um, you know, trading out games, that wasn't enough for me to say, even though it's a beautiful cabinet, to go for it, you know, to get a uh, space duel. Because I already own the Atari 50. And so looking back here at this ad, at, you know, for Wayfield, uh, Wayfair, excuse me, um, you know, I was looking at these games, and it says right there, you know, of all, it has every game there that's in the first two cabinets, uh, except for uh, the ad Super Breakout, but they give you back a Lunar Lander that they didn't have in that Tempest one. Uh, they gave you Space Stool that was in the Tempest one, but it's not in the 12 one, so I'm thinking, okay, so who's this for? Because 14 games, and you already have 12. If you have those two, you already have this. And so, and you, if you have the Atari 50 collection, it's on your, you know, your console, you already have these games. Uh, and of course, you know, it says right there, 40 Atari 2600 Classics. Now I'm thinking, that's uh, $500, buddy, for primarily re you know, skinning and, and making it look worse than the uh, Atari Legacy cabinet, which is beautiful, uh, to make it look like this, you know. And so what we could do here is shift over to Atari 50th. That way you can see what you're getting with this because it's still available. So let's uh, swing right over there. And here it is, folks, the Atari 50th. I love this game system, this whole compilation here. Uh, I did a video on the unboxing and all that. You can check it out on the play, on the uh, one of the playlists there. Got all that there. But what we could do here is look at the games you're getting here with this collection. It's 30 bucks right now for all the platforms. So we're not going to go through play any any gameplay. We're just going to check it out. So these are the reimagined ones. The Neil Breakout is really killer. Um, I did videos on each, almost each and every one of these. Vector Sector's killer. Um, I, I did videos on each of those showing you how I unlock stuff. So, yeah, check it out. Yars Revenge. I'm still trying to figure that game out to the life of me. All right, we're here with the arcade games. Now, remember, uh, Wayfield um, had said they, they're going to give you 14 arcade games. This is one of them. Now, let's go ahead and show you a little bit about it. Still can't pronounce it. I'm not going to try. But yeah, that's what it's supposed to look like. And it was unreleased prototype. So you get to play that version of this game here. What version are you getting over there? The other version? I, I don't know. Arcade 1UP did with them. I'm assuming it's the same. Uh, I've never played it on Arcade 1UP. So there you go. Here's Asteroids. We're also getting that game. So if you remember that game, it's really killer. Asteroids Lux. We're getting that game as well. Now here's something different with this here that I'm gonna dive in here to show you. You get the background with this because you got my high scores going. Um, that's, and you don't have to have it looking like that because you could just go ahead and uh, cha change up the, you know, you can make it original and you could do that. Uh, for this one particular because it doesn't take away the intent to me at least. Um, I mean, it's cool like this. I, for some reason, I, I kind of dig in the uh, full, the full wide, no, full I think is, yeah, because I was looking at the spaceship and how it's cut off, let me just double check here, wide, yeah, it's more zoomed in there, 
So I'm trying not to do zooming in, but kind of like that. Okay. Now let's go ahead and yeah. Oh, might as well just kind of let you hear it. I mean, it plays just like the arcade. And what's cool is you got that background. Okay, I'm so I lied to you guys when we're playing the video game. So we're, I'm not gonna play the whole game. But there we go. Let's get out of here. Oop. Yes. So yeah. So that's the other one that's on the arcade one up. But you're not getting this version. You're gonna get the plain one. All right. Black Widow's not on there, but you get this one. So there, there you go. So the advantages of buying this system here is going up. There's your breakout, which they promised us uh, for you know the other releases, the Legacy and the uh, Atari 50. Now, Centipede, there was stuff going on here. Let me go ahead and dive in here and show you. Um, let me go ahead and... Because once you fix the, uh, res the screen on one, it goes back to the other. So we go back to the original on this one. Cause that, that's way, how I like to play it. But what they did here was... Uh, let me go back here. They gave you opportunity to not only change up the controls. See what I did here? Firing now is my L2. And I'm using the pad in the center of my PS4 that display uh, where under where it says game options right here. I'm using that display to move my fingers and it is really play check this out. So yeah, I mean the trackball I prefer, but hey, this is still playable. I just had to change it up some of the stuff. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. Get out of here. Uh, but yeah, I had to change up and they come with dip switches. So, you know, you can change up lives, bonus lives, difficulty. So I didn't really have that it was easy. Okay, let me quit here. All right, so let me get this. Cloak and Dagger is another one that doesn't come with your collection for the uh, $500 you're going to pay. But yeah, that, I've never played that game. So. Crystal Castles does come with the, uh, you know, the Atari 50 arcade one up. But, you know, that's something that, you know, you know what? Let me go back here. Yeah, Crystal Castle trackball. Once again, I've been I use my little finger to uh, the center of the thing, and it works just fine. Uh, Fire Truck, a game I never played, still haven't played, but now yeah, there you go. You get that too. Food Fight. Uh, that's a really cool game. I mean, I didn't like it all that much growing up, but I'm finding a new liking to it. I just gotta play it some more. Uh, Gravatar comes with your arcade one-up system, so yeah, you'll get that one. And uh, once again, track anything with the trackball or spinner, I'm using the little center thing here. I Robot, another game that I've never played, but once again, you know, doesn't come with your system. So if you're spending that five hundred dollars, there you go. Now Liberator right here that comes with your system. Lunar Lander comes with it, and see the controls were so unique back in the days and. Playing it with the buttons is cool. I mean, it works. It's doable. There's uh, Major Havoc. And it's cool that they show you what it looks like. And, and they, this thing is, like I said, a museum. Like, the interactive museum. Uh, there's Maze Invaders. Never played that one before, but you still got there. So look at this. You're getting way more arcade games than Arcade Wimp's given you. Uh, there's Millipede. Once again, uh, I changed up the settings on that one, just like uh, Centipede. Uh, Missile Command. Another game that comes with your system there you go and the controllers were a little bit different they have the trackball and then well not a little bit different because you have trackball the other one but just remember the trackball does uh and there's pong you get pong with this one nothing you don't get that with the arcade one up but the trackball uh yeah unless you replace it it's not workable for me there's quantum trackball game and once again the center of my uh PlayStation 4 pad works just fine. There's your space tool. Comes with your arcade one-up. And look, another game that you get without paying for extra stuff for arcade one-up. Because they won't do a steering wheel game. <laughs> Unless they're trying to sell something weird. That Fast and Furious thing was weird. Uh, there's your Super Breakout. So that's the game you get. There's your Temptus. Another game you get for the arcade one-up. Warlords. You do not get with the arcade one. It comes with that. So let's backtrack here. Um, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 arcade games. Now let's talk about the 2600. And then we'll just kind of flash through the other stuff. Uh, so we got one, two, three, four. I've unlocked that. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Now, there's exactly 40 on here. What do you think it would be that those are the 40 games you get with your system? I bet you dimes two dollars. These are your 40, because there's exactly 40 here. It's the anniversary edition. This is the anniversary edition. So there you go. So 25 arcade. You got 40. Count 40. 2600. But that's not all. Hey, <laughs> you get the 5200 games. 7800 games. I'm sorry, I'm going kind of fast. And then there's uh, Linux. Links, Linux, damn it, Links games. And then there is your 800. There's a few there. And then you got your Jaguar. So look at all this extra cool shit you get to have with this collection. So my uh, summing up of the thoughts between the 50th anniversary and this year. Well, my friends, there you go. It's up to you. $30. Get all these arcade games, all your 2600 games that you're promised from the Atari 50 Arcade 1-Up. Well, guys, that's a wrap it up for me. Thanks for the hang time. Until next time, my fellow gamers, game on. Catch you in the next one. Laters.